Hi guys, I'm Megan Brightwood and welcome back to my channel. Or if you are just incredibly bored and stumbling upon my channel for the first time, then hi, I'm Megan, you are in good company. I hope you will hang out for a while. Certainly hit the subscribe button, notification bell, all that jazz. And yeah, I'm going to be trying to keep it fairly light on this channel. I don't really want to dwell on what's going out and going on out in the world. We all know we're trying to stay home as much as possible. I actually do live in Minnesota, so there is a shelter in place order. Even though I don't think the governor actually said that, I think he, that he said something about staying at home, but I don't know that he actually said like shelter in place, but it's a very Minnesotan thing to do to downplay things. But anyway, we're not focusing on that. Instead, we are going to focus on the lighthearted topic of hair. So while I will definitely be missing my hairdresser later this month for my root touch up, I am pretty happy with the way that it looks right now. I like the shine. I like the volume. I really dig in this. So I thought I would share what I've been using with you guys just in case you were interested. And I will be linking all of the relevant products down below so you can certainly check them out. But starting off in the shower, I have my shampoo and conditioner. This is the Kiehl's Amino Acid Shampoo and Conditioner. I was not sure about these when I picked them up. In fact, I have a Sephora haul that you can check out if you're interested. And I didn't really like the scent and I wasn't sure that it was gonna work. It does work. I think that this has been a big help in getting my hair to be shinier and more voluminous. And I have actually started to really like the scent. It's kind of a natural sort of mineral scent, very spa-like, honestly, and it has been so nice and relaxing when I can hop in the shower because I do have two young children that take up a lot of my attention. One of them is actually watching Little Mermaid, the other one is taking a nap, so I have a little bit of time to sneak away and film, which has helped a lot. But yeah, so really like that. The shampoo does not lather a crazy amount, which I do like. I am not someone that likes that big lather. I don't know that it does anything different and I have a hard time getting those big lathery soaps out of my hair. So I really like the way that these work. And then when I hop out of the shower, I use my Holy Grail product. And you are gonna love this too if you are used to getting your hair done and you can't get to the salon for a while. It is the Living Proof Color Care Whipped Glaze. And they do have this for for lighter hair and darker hair. I have the darker hair one. I have no idea how the lighter hair one works. I've heard really good things, but yeah, love this. It's a mousse, you towel dry your hair, and then you spray just a little bit of this into the palm of your hand, work it into your roots, and it really helps kind of camouflage those roots a little bit. I have no idea how that works, but it does. I mean, you can definitely still see that there are roots there, but there's not as harsh of a line, which I love that. And it smells nice. It works well. It's just an awesome, awesome product. Love it. It does have a little bit of a leave-in conditioner as well. However, my hair does get very, very snarled. So I do have a leave-in conditioner that I do like to spray in my hair afterward. This is just a little travel sized version, but I think I'm gonna get the full size. It's from Together Beauty and it is the whatever, wherever leave-in conditioner. And I think that this actually came as a free gift with purchase with this. So that was from Sephora. If you're interested, check it out and love this. This also smells really good. It smells a lot like the Not Your Mother's uh, Sea Salt spray. If anyone has smelled that, I know that it's at Walgreens, but uh, it's harder to get out and smell it right now. So just trust me when I say that it smells really, really nice. It smells very beachy, love it, but it is very, very detangling. So I love that part. Um, I'll run a comb through my hair and then I make sure to blow dry it. And I know that some hair does not do well with a lot of blow drying, but mine definitely looks shinier if I have blow dried it rather than let it air dry. I don't know why, but it just looks so much better if I dry it. So that's my tip on that one. I also wanted to talk to you about the dry shampoo that I use because as a mom, I think that dry shampoo is a necessity. 
So I have the Batiste dry shampoo. I love the way that the Batiste ones work. They really refresh your hair well. They give you a little more volume, kind of a little more texture if you're doing anything with it. And they all smell really nice too. This one is my current favorite. It is the rose gold one. And it reminds me a lot of an old department store, like the old Dayton's, if anyone remembers that. Hmm. That was a while ago, but yeah, I love the scent. And one thing that I try to recommend to moms is that when you have a newborn baby and they're throwing up all the time because babies do that, these are really, really nice because it almost acts like a hair perfume. So if baby throws up a little bit, you squirt some of that on there and you don't smell like rotting milk, which is awesome. I love that. And so this is going to be in my medicine cabinet probably forever, but yeah, love this stuff so much. So the last thing that I wanted to talk to you about is the way that I have been doing my hair. So I'm still working on this a little bit, but I have a GHD one and a half inch straightener and I've been, yeah, using a flat iron to curl my hair and I really, really like it. I'm still kind of working out the technique, but I like the way that it's just really nice effortless curls rather than the super tight curls that I have been doing. I just want something a little bit more casual for as we get into the warmer months and this seems to be doing the trick. So if you are interested in seeing how I do this on my hair, then certainly let me know in the comment section and I will try to find time to film that for you. I'm sure that I will be able to because we've got nothing but time indoors, right? So. Yeah, make sure to let me know if you're interested in seeing that or if you're interested in seeing some other video, let me know that as well. But as for right now, I think I'm going to get going, see if I can find something else to do around the house. I hope you guys are keeping entertained and I think that that's it for today. So I hope you guys are having a good day. Stay safe, stay inside, and I will see you in my next video. Make sure to check out the links in the description below and uh, subscribe to the notification bell, all that jazz. I will see you next time. Bye.